Topping the news tonight, after 33 years, Trinidad and Tobago now has its second teaching hospital. And Prime Minister Kamala Pisan Bissessa hails it as a flagship project of her government. The hospital at Chancery Lane in San Fernando was officially opened this morning. Mrs. Pisan Bissessa said the opening of the hospital demonstrates her government's commitment to people-centered development. Charlene Lewis reports. Prime Minister Kamala Pisan Bissessa says her government is not only focusing on the southwest but on Tobago and elsewhere in the country. Mrs. Pisan Bissessa said the construction of this state-of-the-art teaching hospital demonstrates that a government is committed to improving health care in the country. My government will not be marked by high-rise buildings, that it will be one that will be people-centered, that it will be one that will build hospitals, it will be one that will build schools, it will be one that will put down the infrastructure needed to open up the entire country. And sometimes we do get some, uh, you know, some differences of opinion. And in the same way she defended the construction of the highway from Point Fortin to San Fernando, she also strongly justified the construction of the country's second teaching hospital. I cannot remember a happier day in my administration than a day like today to see this hospital here. There will be many other happy days as we commission the hospital in Point Fortin, the hospital in Arima, the oncology center at Mount Hope, about the opening up of the highway, opening up the whole Southwest Peninsula. But again, it is critical. I don't think anybody understands how long it takes a person to get from Point 14 to San Fernando. Mrs. Pasal Bisasa also explained that issues such as crime, health care and the economy still remain top priority for government in 2013. As we continue to grow our education sector, as we continue to improve our health care, and as we continue to fight against crime. Those are the priority areas as I see them. If we can do those things and continue to do them and improve on them, then we'll be improving the quality of life of all our citizens. Mrs. Passant Bissessa said in the short term, government is seeking to commission the oncology center as early as next year and appoint Fortin Hospital among several other projects. Sherilyn Lewis, C News. And according to Line Minister for Unicorp, the agency charged with the oversight of the construction of the new cutting-edge hospital, over 500 employment opportunities will be created with the construction of the institution. He was speaking at the opening ceremony of the hospital today. Again, here's Charlene Lewis. According to the Minister of Housing, Land and Marine Affairs, 99% of the labor force for the construction of the newly constructed teaching hospital at Chancery Lane in San Fernando were locals. Minister Munilal said the hospital was constructed in accordance with international OSHA standards. The American Institute of Architect Guidelines for Health Facilities, the U.S. National Fire Protection Association Healthcare Facility Codes, as well as U.S. OSHA standards. In all, 17 North American, in all, 17 North American and internationally recognized codes and, and standards have been applied in the construction of this facility. And he added that a hospital which accommodates over 600 beds will employ hundreds of locals. 99% of the labor force, I repeat that, 99% of the labor force involved in the construction of this facility was local. You could clap for that, yes, I think. At the peak of construction, we provided employment for over 500 persons, not only giving them jobs, but also meaningful exposure, not to radiation, but to new technologies and practices. We will hire 500 new employees in what we, we refer to as permanent employment in Trinidad and Tobago. 500 new jobs to be created. Meanwhile, Minister of Health Dr. Food Khan said there are plans to introduce nursing practitioners in various health institutions. The time has now come for the introduction of the nurse practitioner who will have limited approval, approval of prescribing and examination and who will act independently in areas that need service in our system. This is where telemedicine will come in. Utilization of the nurse practitioner will elevate the long wait for medical care at our institution. This facility will be utilized to teach those ancillary professions. And the Minister of Health also given undertaking to address several cases of malpractice. Sherilyn Lewis, C News. It's time now for the C News Poll. 
Tonight we're asking you, should government give priority to addressing malpractice allegations against health institutions in the country? Tell us what you think. Text on your mobile phone, vote yes or vote no to 4913. We'll give you the final tally at the end of this newscast. Well, the hospital, which was built according to international codes and standards, is expected to ease overcrowding issues at the San Fernando General Hospital. It includes a number of facilities and over 600,000 citizens will benefit from it. Nicole Dugi has more. Construction of the new San Fernando Teaching Hospital started back in July 2005 under the Patrick Manning administration and was to be used as an administrative complex. However, after taking office back in May 2010, Prime Minister Kamla Pasad Bisasa took a decision to have the Chancery Lane administrative complex transformed into a wing of the San Fernando General Hospital. This new state-of-the-art hospital will help to ease the burden of the San Fernando General Hospital and will facilitate testing for outpatients like ECGs, X-rays, ultrasounds and other examinations. It will free up space at the San Fernando General Hospital to facilitate the expansion of the accident and emergency department. The hospital, which was built in under three years, includes modern lecture halls, seminar halls and workshops for medical students. It also includes on-call rooms for doctors to be on staff on a 24-hour basis. And children were not left out. This, as the new hospital, includes a pediatric department as well as a kids zone and play area. When completed, the 18-story building will include car parks and will house the hospital's administrative offices. The new San Fernando Teaching Hospital is expected to be fully commissioned by April or May next year. Nicole Dukey, C News. So glad you can join us. Welcome to the C Sport Report, where one of the stars of TNT's Caribbean Cup runners-up team, Lester Peltier, well, he is tonight elated about the prospect of playing in the CONCACAF Gold Cup next year. Well, Peltier, the TNT's qualification for the prestigious tournament for the first time in six years, was one of the highlights of a tumultuous year in local football, and the player is over the moon about the opportunity to shine on the big stage. I remember when I was young when um, our, when Maturana um, took us to the world, I think we went to the um, Gold Cup and I was like, oh my God, I wish I could have been in this squad to show, you know, the world that what I could, you know, do as a player, you know. So I think like for me, besides the World Cup, I think Gold Cup is a very big tournament for me and any player in Trinidad and Tobago because the whole world watching it, even though it hosted in America, everybody watching it, so you have a big opportunity. But for me, it's a, it's a, it's a dream come true if 